this is the plywood. I got it pre-cut. It's uh, it's actually 0 0.7, which is almost three quarters by 23 and three quarter by 23 and three quarter. I can't remember if I got this from Lowe's or if it come from Home Depot, but pre-cut. So the first thing I did was you want to inspect the piece. Um, it is also rated for outdoor use. So this is outdoor use pre-cut plywood. You want to inspect the sheet. Make sure that you don't have any knots that's going to interfere with the design. And see, so you can see we got a knot here. Got a place there that's not that great. That corner's not that great. So this is what I did. I lined it up with the box on the edges. Once you have that done, take you a Sharpie and mark the other two sides. Once you have the sides marked, just like that, you can move this box out of the way. Next thing we're going to do is take our circular saw and cut those lines. Our finished piece, you can see the line still. Didn't chop it up too bad. This piece, after looking the whole design over, I basically cut it out of the scrap that I had left over after I cut the first big square out. Which would be this piece on the second one. So, it doesn't matter where you take it from, but I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off right here. These are pretty much identical. And I'm just going to go ahead and take a Sharpie. And use the first one as a template. Also, that's our finished piece. Now, what I did when I made the parts that this sits on, I didn't even use a tape measure. I basically just roughed it out. by how much space I had available and how much space I wanted to use. And once I actually got this to be pretty close to where I wanted it, which I didn't even use, I didn't even use a tape measure, I just eyeballed it. Uh, checking the depth, how close I am to the edge, Making sure they're about the same on either side. Don't care if it's square or not. Once I get that done, draw a line. And I'm going to show you the next piece, the, the one I originally did. You can see I drew the line all the way around it. And then I basically take this piece. Take these out. All right, so then the next thing I did was I took this and I put it on the very edge of the line and then mark a line on the other side. Okay, once that's done, on this big square in the center, put an X. That's our scrap piece. So what we're gonna do now on the inside, I'm going to cut it. And the easiest way to do that is to take your circular saw and start it. Right. So basically I've cut four on the inside. Next thing you're going to need your jigsaw if you've got one you could go ahead and finish it out with a circular saw 
but this, using the circular saw is going to make the corners. It's going to make the corners kind of jagged. So once we're done, we got this. So the way that I come up with that spacing, or the hole size, I know that this board that's left over where the marker's at is where my glue point's going to be. So when I put this on here, this is going to be glued down. Something like that, give or take. Might be a little bit off. Um, so. The hole is big enough that you could just about put this anywhere within, you know, as long as you leave that one inch or three, almost three quarters inch of a gap around. So the way that I come up was I did, originally I thought about putting them directly across from each other. And I was like, well, what happens if the bars are in the way? You should offset them a little bit, which is why I come up with this kind of staggered design here. And all I did was I looked down at it till it looked good and took a marker and put around the, the cap. Like, um, so the next thing to do, you can't really drill this with the circular saw or the jigsaw as it stands. What you have to do is you've got to drill a hole and then you go from there. It doesn't matter where you put your pilot hole, just somewhere. On each one. And then next I come back with the jigsaw. And cut around the edge. Okay, basically, I was going to hot glue those pieces on there, but what I really need to do first is to glue this piece to this piece. Now, originally, I planned on gluing it and also putting a few screws in it. But I can only find two screws <laughs> that are the size I need that won't go through both of these. So what I'm going to end up doing is gluing one of them, screwing it together to hold it in place till the glue dries, and then tomorrow I'll, I'll take the screws out and glue the other one. Because once this glue dries, you won't ever have to worry about it coming off. And all I'm doing now is to look to make sure that it's snugged down tight enough for the glue to ooze out. I can actually go just a little bit more. I think that's going to get it. So you can kind of see the concept. Bees are 3 eighths of an inch. This will allow them, it'll set over the bars. This will allow them to get between the bars. And where the feeder's at, this open section here will. And then they can get to the uh, jar that has the sugar water. And we'll take and tap some holes in the lids uh, using a small nail. <laughs> 